2021 GMC Sierra Denali 1500 Review, Brainier & Brawnier. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. This generation of the GMC Sierra debuted in 2018 with unique features like the Multi-Pro tailgate, class-exclusive towing cameras, and a bevy of active safety equipment. For 2021, those same elements carry over plus a few new ones, the most notable being the Carbon Pro package. The $1,070 Carbon Pro package, as its name implies, adds a carbon composite inner bed to the Denali and AT4 models. The extra strong material gives the GMC Sierra one of the toughest beds in the class, plus appropriate badging on the front and rear fenders for bragging rights. But GMC still markets the Sierra as the only premium, half-ton truck on the market, and that feels disingenuous in 2021, given the range-topping options from Ford and Ram. The Sierra lacks high-quality cabin materials, some of its technology is subpar, and its performance in some areas important to truck owners is below average for the class. And with that, GMC still asks a premium price, our truck costs $72,360 as tested. Even when this Sierra debuted a few years back, we found the design garish. And nothing really changes for 2021. The massive chrome grille still takes up a ton of real estate on the front end. The chrome fog light surrounds add more shiny elements that we don't like, and guess what, there's more chrome lower down on the bumper. At least with the Carbon Pro package, a $1,070 option, the Sierra sheds its standard shiny, high-spoked wheels for a slick 22-inch gloss black set, $2,995. Otherwise, the body looks generic. There's nothing unique or innovative in its sheet metal that helps the Sierra stand out alongside its sibling the Chevrolet Silverado, or even the latest Ford F-150. In the rear, at least, there's a large GMC badge perched atop the tailgate so you don't get it confused with other trucks. The inside of the GMC Sierra is where things really start unraveling for this truck visually. Very little about the inside of this truck feels premium. There are some nicer aluminum finishes on the steering wheel and dash, but otherwise, it's obvious this is a copy and paste job from the more workmanlike Silverado. The Sierra has the same 8.0-inch touchscreen as the Chevy, similar low-quality plastic materials, and the same general layout. We expect more from a so-called premium truck in 2021. The Sierra Crew Cab, like a lot of half-ton trucks, offers generous amounts of passenger space inside. Those seated in the first row have 43.0 inches of headroom and 44.5 inches of legroom. More than what you get in the new F-150 Super Crew, 40.8, 43.9 inches. The Sierra's second row, meanwhile, has 39.8 inches of headroom and a solid 35.2 inches of legroom. The seats in both rows of the Denali model wear a no-cost jet black leather that's supple, and both buckets are heated and cooled in the front row. Pair those comfy seats with sublime sound deadening and a likable on-road demeanor, and the GMC Sierra makes for a comfortable way to toil away hours of highway driving. What makes this particular Sierra so cushy is the Denali premium suspension with adaptive dampers, which is one of the few premium features on this truck.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.